Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at a new JavaScript library that helps you convert a normal text into a handwritten, looks like a handwritten text, um, and then it would save it as a PNG or JPEG or PDF the way you want. So the library's name is handwritten.js. So you can install it by um, npm install um with the same syntax that you have got so if you do not have uh, npm or node.js installed on your machine the first step is to get that installed once you have that thing installed then you can just install this package install this library so the main thing is you have to install this library as a global package and um, as the author mentioned please uh, do not install it as a sudo uh, package if you have an access issue or anything so um, when you do a global install so you have to just make sure that this path is um, this folder directory is added to your path so that uh, you would be able to use it as a cli um, normal CLI command line usage. So there are uh, two different ways you can use it. One, you can simply use it as a CLI, which is what we are going to see in this particular video. The other one is you can actually use it uh, as part of your web application that you are building, um, embedding within your HTML um, um, web application, whatever you are trying to build. So this is not something that we are going to look at, but you can actually simply try the same thing. But what we are going to do here is we are going to give an input text file and then we are going to generate an output. So, like I said, uh, you have to do npm install handwritten.js um, hyphen g for a global installation. Once that is done, you can basically just once try if you have a handwritten.js installed. So, you can see that um, uh, it is successfully invoked. That's why you're getting an error. Otherwise, that command you would probably get an error saying command is not found. Okay, that's nice. So, once that is good, so you just need a text. So, I just went to internet and then you know pasted a text so you can just do whatever you want sincerely on little coder or um, maybe lovingly okay L lovingly and dear um, fans or subscribers or friends I can put friends uh, hey friends okay so now let's save this once you save this thing you can go to handwritten js and you can give sample later and um, let's first uh, do not give any output file name and then just enter it so now we are currently using this uh, library as a cli tool like i mentioned you can use it within your application so now you can see that the file has been successfully saved so i'm clicking the output pdf and you can see hey friends i received so um, something that looks like a school kids handwriting but yeah that's what um, you have got um, so it's a good thing so you can see how it looks uh, on an output PDF. So maybe let's say that you do not want a PDF or you want a PDF on a different name or different path. In that case, you have to just specifically say sample letter uh, dot PDF. So you would get a, a file that would say sample letter dot PDF. So you can see that you have got a new file. Okay, now let's say that you want a JPEG instead of a PDF. Uh, you can provide jpeg there so now you got a jpeg uh, instead of pdf okay uh, i cannot open jpeg within uh, vs code but uh, i think you understand uh, the notion what we are trying to do so maybe you can um, you can just write anything you want so let's um, let's paste this or let's go here and then uh, take something that is given here and paste it and take this and uh, paste it and take this and paste it and then save it and then once again try to create it so let's see what happens uh, sample letter done so you get all these things so you get the same thing um yeah that's that's basically it is it's a nice package uh thanks to rahil kabani so if you appreciate this work please please start the github repo so that means a lot to the developer and if you have any issue you can raise an issue here and um, yeah, so I hope uh, you uh, like this video and this could be helpful if you want to impress someone with a beautiful, nice handwriting, but uh, you basically typed it. So this and, or uh, if you are interested in making a web application on top of it, it's always welcome. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any suggestion, please let me know in the comment section. Until next video, see you. Take care. Bye.